Hello everybody, my name is Fester Sabuna. I think Barry from Barry Science Lab. Oh geez, this is having a, a Caesar right now. And today we're going to be looking at C Lecture 4. I know that everything about C has been on pause for quite a while now, but we are not going to pause anymore. This is going to be on a daily basis. What the so Wow. Thank you everybody for Whoa. staying with us and being patient. So, now, uh, today we're go just going to make a calculator. So, we, I do not want you to, oh, good, good. So, now, uh, we're going to start G++. Don't look at tutorial on G++ one. And scary offensive workers. That's not the title I want. Yeah, no. Uh, C plus plus. Don't block what he write. Calculator. As always, I have to give my hands good luck because typing is a pain on this thing. Also, not sponsored by Rappel.it. C plus plus calculator. Let's go. Hmm. What the? Why can't I close this? And then using namespace. If you haven't caught up with everything, I say I recommend you go watch the videos before this one. They're on YouTube, don't worry. Count this is uh, this is just going to be a recap. So, if we type, this is a very cool calculator, in calculator, and these quotation marks, and then put end L to end the line. How do you do this? And L, okay. Then when we run it, it shows this is a very cool calculator. It's a very cool calculator, everybody. Very cool. So now um, we're going to instead actually type what operation do you want? But first, before we type any text, we always, oh God, that's not the right type. We always would want to do this, so we were the good quotation marks better. We have to define a variable, or precisely two variables, to add them together. So let's say we create two variables A and B? A and B. So What you have to do is count hmm, what is the first, okay, thank you, auto correct number. And then copy and paste would be super useful here. And then we could put sin A. Sin means it's taking in the user response, the user input. So if the user puts any sort of number, then that will be saved as the value of A. So sin, you have to put the operator for these to work. Operator looks like this, A. And then the quotation marks, down. Okay, and the same process will repeat for B. So, okay, wait, that exists? A double comma or an upside down quote, a double quotation mark? What? So, 
what is the second number and then question mark my shoulder feels really bad typing this already this hurts and L but it's still fun to program as always so that's why I keep doing this instead of letting my shoulder burn off. Hmm. For the fun of coding. Oh, there we go. <coughs> so then we can make a new variable, double ant for answer. And we can all agree what that means. And that's gonna be equal to A plus B. Now obviously you can make more uh, uh, more complex calculators, ones that uh, ask the user what operation they want and then begin, and ones that can use exponents as well. But we are going to talk about that way later when we learn about if statement. But for now, this is our calculator. And then it's going to print out our answer. Count the answer is okay. The answer is and then when we and the quotation marks and put and and then we put the operators and L wow what is hell like hell nav navigating these tabs not used to typing on phone so why would I be used to typing here so the answer is ant. Now let's check our uh, the beauty we just made. Mm. What is the first number? So uh, I want you guys to participate. What should the first number be? Seven. Seven, I guess. So uh, it's a little predetermined, but seven. Then, what is the second number going to be? I want the viewers to decide this time. Not you, Mr. Alexandra Rodriguez. Calm down. So nobody seems to be courageous enough to respond. So instead, I want you to respond, Mr. Alexandra Rodriguez. Eight. Eight. So the answer should be 15 if this works. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one. 15! Hooray, we did it! And that's how we, you make a basic calculator. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time. By the way, this video was sponsored by Brilliant, a math and science organization. See you later, bye! For the love of coding, for the love of coding, for the love of coding, I did it.